Hey guys, it's Mrs. Moylan. Uh, this week your homework is to complete your study guide. We're giving you class time to do that. And then um, for homework, make sure you finish any problems that you didn't finish in school. And then we're going to go over them with the video. So here we go with number one. Number one says, Jack ran three and one-fourth miles. Make sure you're using cubes. That's a key number on Monday. Four and a half miles on Tuesday and two and three-fourths miles on Wednesday. How many miles did he run this week? So it's giving you a clue um, that when it says this week, they mean all together. So we've got three numbers that we're going to add. You can add, just like with whole numbers, you can add two numbers at a time. So we could do three and one-fourths plus two and three-fourths, since they're both fourths, and we'd get five and four-fourths, which we know equals six. And then we've got six plus four and a half. Half plus zero is half, and six plus four is ten. So you should have gotten ten and a half miles for your final answer for number one. Number two, Melanie purchased 3.45 pounds of bananas, four pounds of apples, and 1.75 pounds of grapes. What was the total weight of the fruit she purchased? So total weight is your clue. So your evaluate is that you're going to add... And we're going to add all three of these together. Lining up your decimals, so 3.45 plus 1.75. 0, carry the 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 3, 4, 5.20. So you've added the 345 and the 175. Now you need to add the 4. Remember, if it's a whole number, there's always an invisible decimal point to the right of it. And when we add that, we've got... 9.20 pounds, 9.20 pounds. Number three, at a sporting goods store, one-sixth of the items are for golf and one-half of the items are for football. What fraction of the store's items are either for golf or football? So when it says or, that means add. Or means add. Always, always, always. So we're going to add one-sixth plus one half, finding our common denominator, which we could use um, six or 12, we'll go with 12. This would be times two to give you two twelfths. This would be times six to give you six twelfths. Add your numerator, six plus two is eight twelfths. And then simplify um, by a number that goes by into both, which would be four. So eight divided by four is two, and 12 divided by four is three. So your final answer is two thirds of the store's items are for golf or football. Number four, Carlos lives 12 and one fourth miles from work. Lydia lives six and seven eighths miles from work. How much farther away does Carlos live than Lydia? So if it says how much farther away, that's a clue that we are going to be sub tracting. So we're going to take the bigger number, which is 12 and 1 fourth, and we're going to subtract 6 and 7 eighths. Finding our common denominator, which would be 8, so times 2 times 2. Then we see that we've got 2 eighths, and we're trying to subtract 7 eighths. And since we can't do that, that's why we have to borrow. So 12 becomes an 11. And we're going to borrow 1. 1 and 2 eighths is a mixed number. So when we change that to an improper fraction, we get 10 eighths. And 10 eighths minus 7 eighths is 3 eighths. Um, and then we can subtract our whole numbers. 11 minus 6 equals 5. So 5 and 3 eighths miles. That's how much further he lives. Number 5. Henry's dog is 24 inches tall. His friend Logan's dog is 12 and 5 eighths inches tall. How much taller is Henry's dog than Logan's dog? So how much taller? That's our clue that we want to subtract again. So we've got 24 minus 12 and 5 eighths. Remember, we can't take 5 eighths away from nothing, so we could call this 0 eighths. And then when we borrow 1... We've got 1 and 0 eighths, which really equals 8 eighths. So 8 minus 5 is 3, and then 23 minus 12 is 11. So 11 and 3 
8 inches. Numbers. Uh, Nathan did homework for seven hours over one week. He did homework for one and two thir thirds hours on Monday, one and one fifth hours on Tuesday, and two and a half hours on Wednesday. So we know that these are all being combined, and then we're going to subtract it from 7 because it says how much time did he do homework for the remainder of the week. That's a clue that we've got to figure out the missing amount. So our plan would be to add the how much he did and then subtract from the total. So this is a two-step problem where we have to add and subtract. When we add, we've got 1 and two-thirds plus one and one-fifth. You can add those two together, finding your common denominator of 15. So that would be 10 fifteenths. And then down here, it would be 3 fifteenths. So add those together and get 13 fifteenths. And then add your whole numbers and get two. And then you've got to take that number and add it to your other amount, which was two and a half. So you could make your common denominator 30 here. Let's change the color so it doesn't get all mixed together. And then this would be 15 thirtieths, and then that would be 26 thirtieths. So then 26 thirtieths plus um, 15 thirtieths would give us 41 thirtieths. And then our whole numbers would be 4. And of course, we'd want to change 41 thirtieths into a um, mixed number. So we'd divide that and we'd get a 1 and 11 thirtieths. And then our final step is to subtract that from 7. So 7 minus 1, ooh, I mean 5, taking that whole number and adding it to the 4, 5 and 11 thirtieths. So this would become a 6 and you'd borrow 11, or 30 thirtieths. And then 30 minus 11 gives you 19 thirtieths, and 6 minus 5 gives you 1. So 1 and 19 thirtieths um, is how much more time he studied that week. Um, if any of these were confusing, make notes of that, and then we'll go over it again in class.